literally went downstairs to get water and the cup broke. Does this mean it's gonna be a good new year? Now my heart is racing. I'm scared. Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle. If you're new here, please click that red subscribe button down below. And if you're not new here, welcome back to my channel. Anyways, it's New Year's Eve. December 31st, 4.36. It's pretty early, but we are going to be starting early because company's coming over early period i don't know how to beat my face any different than i do any other day so we're gonna do my go-to beat it is finally december 31st we are turning over a new leaf and for those who thought that your year was bad sorry but i didn't have such a bad year let's not do the complaining that's the thing i think people need to be a little more grateful i'm sorry i had to say it if you didn't get something done whose fault was it and that's the tea. So we're doing our makeup. I'm starting off. We're literally staying home today because COVID. My boyfriend wanted to come early, so he was like, get ready. And I was like, oh, and I will. The hair, not done. The face, not beat. But listen, we're staying in. Hey, but listen, but listen. Do I have an outfit? No. Should I even beat my face right now? I want to sit here and discuss all my goals with y'all because we're friends, right? We're starting off with this primer. This is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Anyways, I want to talk about my goals with y'all. I just feel like there's so many things I need to accomplish and I'm going to try so hard until I accomplish my goals. I hate makeup bags. I have to f dig through this. I'm going to start off with this L concealer. This is the camel concealer in the lightest shade. And I'm going to put this on all my super dark. That's why I needed water. My super dark marks right here, right here, right here. A little under my eyes. And I just like to start off like that. But yeah, let us be more motivated this year. Because you are the only thing holding yourself back. I hate to say it. But it's true. The only time you procrastinate is when you're being lazy. Or the only time you don't want to get something done is because of you. Nobody's really telling you you can't do something. No, ma'am. Hello? Babe, keep it a buck. You still like me or no? You don't even call me no more, bro. After blending everything out with my finger, I like to go on with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This is honestly one of the best foundations. It has medium to full coverage. All the shades come like this, like 4W1, so like 4 warm. I don't even know what the f that means, but this is my perfect shade. This is crazy. Moving on, I have the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. Anyways, now that he's off the phone, we could talk our ah! If you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know why. Follow me on Instagram at Chanel Donnell. I literally post and I will be posting every week. Is it just me or do any of y'all get random stomach aches? Mm, that's weird. Then I'm going on with my contour stick. This is in the shade Coconut and this is the Maybelline one. I literally love this shit. I have the most crooked crooked oh my god girl go back to school i have the most crooked nose at the jawline i kind of like to do this trick draw yourself a new jawline somehow when you blend it out it works when i did it for the first time i was like wait hold the f up hold the f It kind of hurts to stop singing. So I'm going in. I like to do my contour first. Look how seamlessly that blends in. Almost all my family is in DR right now. And I'm a little sad. And this is because don't you want to be on vacation? I personally haven't been to DR since 2017. 2018, 2018, 21. Wait, that was already wrong. 18. Wait, did I go 2018? 2018. Yeah, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. What y'all gonna pay for my plate? Give a f if he had on a vest. Oh my god, guys, I'm getting really anxious right now because I feel like this is not working. 
bronzer is done and i really want to start going over my goal list now i'm going in with the beauty blender and i'm just blending in my concealer i feel like it's always that same as dog i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes there it is First, I'm gonna set my face with this bronzer. Going back in with the mini detail. Going back in with the detailed brush, I'm gonna go ahead and set my nose contour. And we're going in a little doop and a little doop. We're going in with our blush. And then I'm gonna stop talking motherfucking shit. Okay, let's just do this real quick. I don't know when I'm gonna shut up. Okay, now that we have a little break, let's review our goals. And I'm not gonna tell it to you all because I feel like there's some things that I must keep to myself. I wanna share what kind of goals I have in mind for the new year. I have a long list of goals. I'm just gonna go through them real quick and maybe if you have something that you really wanna improve on too, you can write this down and we could get shit done together. So the first one I have on my list is to be kinder, to be nicer, to be less aggravated. I have realized that growing up, I have been such a squidward such a square word i want to be an adult i want to do adult things i realized that you're being a party boober you're not being cute you're not being nice i just want to avoid all the bitchy behavior and leave that in 2021 it's easier to be mean and it's easier to be miserable than it is to choose to be happy and to choose to have a good time it's all mindset i kind of have to cut these but do i have a scissor of course i don't <laughs> If I'm not kinder this new year, somebody beat my ass. I'm giving you permission to hit me. I'm trying this new lash glue for the first time. Let's see how it goes. There's nothing worse than a pretty girl with an ugly heart. Girl, stop your track. I done seen you. I saw you. That shit is not cute. I don't know how I feel about these. I noticed that with the people that I'm most comfortable with, I feel like it's okay to lash out on them because I feel some sense of comfortability. You feel like you could be a to your mom because you know your mom's not going to slap the out of you. But if you knew she was going to slap the out of you, are you still going to say what the you got to say? I doubt it. I doubt it. I used to be so positive when I was younger and like, I don't know how I messed that up recently, but I don't, it was some, it was some. I feel like as you grow up, you kind of grow hopeless and not in a bad way. It's kind of just like in life, there's so many expectations and so many rise and falls that once you realize that expectation is what's making you sad, kind of just like, okay, I don't want to expect anymore i don't want to try i don't want to put my first effort in if everything's just gonna go to shit anyways the more positive you are the more likely you are to have a breakthrough never let something so small ruin your day ruin your week ruin your mood nothing should ever not even a person unless you know i don't want to say it but death comes along anyways that's a way too motherfucking long to say one thing i want to be kinder and i want to be happier by choice when you try you will be fake it till you make it in the best way possible not some od fake like i'm so happy and i'm crying another resolution i have for 2022 is to not get angry my temper is this big i'm going with this super cheap high shine rimmel gloss that was in my mom's makeup bag and you know when moms have makeup that shoes dumb old don't even ask me about this all right you're done i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the elf setting spray now onto the hair go ahead. oh my god guys i think i have the runs this is bad this is really bad Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, do not leave without subscribing. Comment down below what's one of your main goals for 2022. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, babies.